In 2017, I found myself an absolutely cracking venue. And that venue is Shearsby Valley Lakes. It's set in the beautiful Leicestershire countryside and it's, it's just fantastic. Most of the matches are on the Alder Lake, but I won a few on Willow as well. Great fishing, fishing with carp, a few F1s, some silvers, but mostly carp, as you'd expect from a commercial. But what's really interesting is despite having loads of fish in here, it's rammed with fish. Late last year, the fishing just switched off. August time came, the sun came out, the weather, you know, it got really warm and the fishing just went really poor. To be honest, we all thought there was a problem. We thought, you know, maybe a few fish had gone. Even the owners were a bit worried. I don't think they'll mind me saying that. They took the wise decision. Instead of just ramming it full of fish like we all sort of, you know, wanted them to do, they chose to net it. They used AE fisheries, got AE fisheries in, netted the lake, and it was incredible. I was there. It was incredible what was in here. Of course, there was loads of carp. Of course there was. We thought there'd be two to three hundred. There was nearer a thousand. All beautiful carp, five to ten pound carp, spotless. Not malnourished, you know, just beautiful fish. It was amazing to, be, amazing to see, to be honest. But what was the problem? Well, obviously it wasn't a lack of carp, it wasn't a lack of F1. It was the fact that the lake was stuffed with little fish. Just little ropes, little skimmers like that, little perch. I'm talking tens of thousands of them. It was incredible to see. So why is that a problem? Well, too many fish is a massive problem. Too many of the wrong fish. If you if you imagine, you know, little fish, they, they're eating food, they're taking oxygen, they've got a poo, so all that poo ends up in the lakes, the silt builds up over a year, and all of a sudden you have oxygen problems, you know, and there's just not enough space for the carp to flourish. And at the end of the day, these commercial fisheries are about carp, really. So, what's happened is, they've removed all the silvers, they're gonna put some skimmers back in, some big skimmers and stuff, but it's, you know, it's gonna be a carp lake. Now, one of the big things for me about Shearsby was the fact that we were fishing up against islands. It's a 52 peg lake at Alder is, with islands running all the way down the middle, and it made it for great fishing. But the problem is there's just not enough space. With all these carp that are in here, it needed a bit more space, needed more oxygen. So what they're doing, I've put, put some footage over there now. They're taking all the islands out and they're desilting it. Now, they're actually working on the lakes now and the silt in there is staggering. Um, probably four or five foot of silt in areas. The lake was only three foot deep in the summer. So you can imagine another four foot of water and that's going to give us loads more oxygen, loads more water for them fish to, to flourish, you know. It's really amazing to see it. The lads here have got the diggers in now. They're just, you know, they happen to dig out all this silt and they're spreading it on the fields. Um, it's incredible. And the, the big lesson for me from this video is that every fishery should, you know, should to get the netting teams in, have a little look at what they've got because it's an absolute eye opener and the fact is most fishers just keep ramming fish in these lakes and you know with the best intentions thinking that that'll solve the problem and quite often it doesn't getting the fishery team in you know getting to remove them small silver fish could just be what that fishery needs so real eye opener i hope you find this a bit interesting and uh, we'll see you on the next video